Hey guys, I'm Lian and welcome to my channel, The Minimal Approach. Today I'll be sharing my June makes, so if it's something that's interesting for you, please stay tuned. Hi everybody, so we're in our new place, we moved June 1st, we're very happy about it and I'll try to figure out where I should film my videos. Today I wanted to try something a little bit different and I wanted to try on the makes to show them to you. So I'll be standing up, let me know what you think in the comments below, if you like it or if you like it more when I just show them um, without wearing them, let me know. So I've been quite productive even if we moved from the last week of May up to now. I made three dom jeans, uh, I would say four shirts and a little more tops. And I also made this little cute outfit. I also wanted to mention some of the makes. I received the fabric from Minerva Craft in exchange for a blog post. So I'll make sure to highlight that as I go through my makes. Oh, and also in June, I made something I never made before and it's swimwear. That's all exciting, but let's start with this outfit. So this is a uh, jelly outfit. Um, so as you can see, this is the camisole. I made the version B with only the top portion the top portion of the slide and when I wear it like this it almost looks like a jumpsuit and these are the Simone shorts and I really like them they have pockets they have an elasticized waist uh, at the back and they have this cute little belt that kind of gives a little bit of like a paper bag waist this fabric is from Minerva Craft and I did a blog post all about it in exchange for this fabric I really love these two patterns. I'm a big Jelly fan forever and they're so easy to make, the fit is good. Although I have to say I feel like the rise is a little bit high on these shorts for me, but that's the only comment I have. And I absolutely want to do these shorts again in black. This outfit is the Stellan T. Really like it. The first time I made it, I really hated it, but then I realized that it was absolutely my fault and I didn't follow the instruction correctly for the neckband. This t-shirt is just perfect and this fabric is from Globtex. This fabric is from Globtex as well. This is a bold denim and white. Um, I have to say, I don't think I would get a lot of uh, wear out of these. It was really because I wanted to do a muslin to check out the fit again because um, maybe some of you know I made many versions of the Dawn jeans and there were always some excess fabric at the front. Although these fit pretty good, but they're a little bit too snug on me and also um, white just is not a good color for me because I'm kind of clumsy and white as the bottom, I mean, it's not really practical. That's it, so they look, they look good, I really like them. I feel like the, the back fits pretty well. So those are jeans that I will wear for standing only and not to go on the long and car drive. Now, this neck is really simple, but I think it's the one that I got the most wear out of. It's a simple plastic tee by Love Notion, and I love it. I love the neck band, I love this fabric. This fabric is from Globtex as well. It's a bamboo jersey. Um, I think this sleeve is a little bit too long. That's something I need to remember next time I make it, because I bought another black jersey to make uh, another one, because I really like them. Um, they're pretty long as well, like my waist is here, so I think it's a good length because I always put the, the shirt in my uh, pants, like at the front like this, so I think it doesn't really bother me much. Really great make, highly suggest this pattern. My next outfit is this rose blouse by Jali. Absolutely love this pattern. I rarely go sleeveless, but I absolutely love this style. I love the little ruffle. Um, I love the, the way that the collar fits. It, it has the collar stand, but since I use this uh, fabric that is leftover fabric from Minerva Craft from another um, blog post that I did, and I did a dress in the first version, but I had leftover, and I thought this would be perfect because sleeveless shirt, they take so little fabric. A very easy pattern to sew. I think it's one of the makes that I got the most uh, compliments out of. Really love it. Now, this make I'm not so sure about. I feel like I should have top stitched this pocket opening before putting it all, assembling it with the um, 
the kind of like vest, the cardigan, because they kind of open up and it bothers me when it looks like this. But anyway, this is another Jali pattern and it's the Tania uh, cardigan. I love the little collar with the little notches and I think it's kind of like casual but still a little bit elegant and it's something that I bought to wear at work because there's AC. Um, although I haven't got the chance to wear this much because I'm on site right now and I'm not going to the office very often but still this is a very nice little piece um, I think cardigans are just so useful very easy pattern again the only thing I would do differently next time is kind of like top stitch this situation right here to avoid like having gappy pockets next is this free pattern from in the fold I really love the ruffle sleeves I made them this time I love the v-neck I love that it has um, kind of like it has the lining and I really love this pattern, although this is a polyester fabric, so it's kind of sweaty, but since it's uh, loose fitting, it's fine. This is the second pair of dumb jeans I made, and um, I realized after making them that they, there is a little bit of stretch in this fabric, and they fit like a glove, really like them. Okay, I love the way they fit in the back. But you can see that there's still a little bit of excess fabric at the front, so there are some pleats. But still, really like these jeans. Um, very comfortable, wear them all the time. And this fabric is from Goldtex. This outfit is the Dawn jeans again, but with this Aster uh, shirt by Colette. And it has this fun little pleat details here, which I really like. I love the open neckline. I love the little cuff detail. Love everything about this shirt. We'll definitely make some more because I feel like it's less involved since there isn't a color and it's a little bit less formal, super feminine. Um, really like this shirt. And as a little topper, I have this Sylvia robe by Sew so Over It. It's a very easy make, um, loose fitting little cardigan. Um, I made it. <laughs> I made it with this. Um, very colorful uh, pattern with uh, flowers and polyester fabric and I don't know if it's my style I haven't worn it yet but I'm getting there and I think it can be very practical if you just want to throw something on and during like summer nights when it gets cooler or in the office anyway I'll see I feel like this could be my favorite make of the month I got to wear this so much at work and it's a linen shirt it's a Nicole pattern and it has this lovely slit here um, it's quite long I feel like it's more tunic length and I think I'll be wearing this with leggings but for now I wear it like this at work or I tuck in the front panels in my pants um, I don't know what I love that much about this shirt, but I think it's the fabric. This blue linen is so comfortable during warm days. Also, this pattern features dragon sleeve. I love linen. And finally, the latest pair of Dawn jeans I made. I've made it with fabric from Minerva Craft, and the blog post will be up in September, but still I can show them to you. When I made them, I was debating whether or not using contrasting top stitching. As you can see, I decided to use it. Um, the main reason why I don't use top stitching thread is because I'm lazy and I only have one sewing machine um, so I need to change thread all the time and yeah I love the look of it I don't think I'll make many more uh, jeans with contrasting top stitching because it's hard work and it's very it's it's a very kind of like classic look although I do like it um, I think the fit of this jean, these jeans are pretty good and these um, I could wear all day they're much more comfortable in the white pair because I am kind of like graded to a bigger size at the hips but kept the same um, waist measurements so very proud of these um, it's such an involved make I feel like doing contrasting top stitching and not doing it it's such a big difference anyway for me when I make pants and this shirt is the Rachel pattern from Seamwork. I made this pattern a few times already. I really like it, although I always forget to mention I never do the pleat at the back. I just omit the pleat completely. It's made out of something I thought was linen, but I feel like it isn't because I get sweaty in it, so I feel like it's 
probably a blend with polyester. And finally, I wanted to show you the swimwears that I made. I made three patterns. The first that I made is a vintage pattern from McCall's and I really love the bottom but I didn't really enjoy the top. I feel like I should have made a small bust adjustment. It comes a little bit big on me um, and there's also this little like um, tie at the front and I don't know, it just doesn't fit right. So I don't think I'll be wearing the top very often, but the bottom I already wore a ton. And next I made the North Shore uh, swimsuit by Green Style Creation and I made the reversible bottom um, that I don't really like. I kind of struggle a lot with putting in the elastic since it's reversible like you never fold over and do the zigzag stitch you kind of just stitch it to the seam allowance and i didn't really enjoy that but i really enjoyed the top it's the favorite top that i made and um, i made the dv with the pull over back and i didn't use lining for this one i used a sub uh, some more fabric for both sides and I have to say I like this way better I feel like the lining wasn't working well with the fabric and also I feel like this is a much more professional look also I used rubber elastic but next time I'll definitely be using cotton elastic I felt like my machine just really didn't enjoy working with rubber elastic I don't have it at the moment but I also made the Dana top from Seamwork as a swimsuit don't really like it. I don't know what I did differently from the last time I made the Dana top, but it just doesn't fit right. It's so big on me now. All the fabric from the swimsuit are from Trip Tissu. And there's also some makes that I did, but that I cannot show you because I gave them to some of my family. So I made the Harrington pants for my father. It's a seamwork pattern, but I acted it to like a longer version because he wanted some pants to lounge around and then I also made a Katia bag for my sister she really loves it and I think that's about it I've been sewing a lot lately I feel like my sojo is so high so that's it for today I hope you guys enjoyed this video if you did give it a thumbs up and if you like the channel so far please subscribe it's always a pleasure and also don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Montreal underscore yoga girl where I share all my makes thanks again for watching happy sewing bye